Long, uh, loud thunderstorms uh, moving the through the area this morning, uh, Joseph. Uh, can we expect more of that tonight? There still may be a couple of thunderstorms heading in tonight, maybe a rubble of thunder and some lightning, but I would say uh, most of the heavy, strong thunderstorms that we saw in the valley have kind of finished off and we saw those in the morning, but there's still some locations in central and eastern Oregon and Washington that we're concerned about. I want to take you there to the radar in just one moment. This is some of the hail out of Sun River earlier that was shared from us by Josh here that sent in this photo. Sun River really saw some hail. I mean, check it out in the distance. It almost looks like it's snowed and that hail was large as well. Massive thunderstorm uh, passing through that section of the state and we had a lot of other locations that saw some hail as well today. That's been one of the main threats it's been hail and it's been the lightning. We've had a lot of moisture to help sustain these thunderstorms and it's the decrease in the temperature as you get higher in the atmosphere, which allows for uh, some of the stronger uh, cells to produce uh, the hail like that and this type of lightning. So notice as we go through this loop here of the last two hours, how much lightning is going off. We've had thousands of lightning strikes today. These thunderstorms are the type that you need to be indoors. Uh, you want to spend about 30, 45 minutes and probably a little bit longer than that uh, to be prepared for these thunderstorms and to stay safe. Uh, we still have a couple thunderstorm warnings being discussed in the first weather, but you can see them here. These two boxes right here, they are traveling to the north into areas of the Tri-Cities, but it's these cells just to the north of Pendleton uh, where we're seeing uh, some very uh, strong rain uh, wind again. We've seen gusts pushing 50 plus miles per hour. Those are in place. Uh, until about 545 and 615 for this cell right here. Again, this is moving off towards the northeast. So again, if you're in this part of Washington, these are traveling in your direction. You're going to want to head inside a good 30 to 45 minutes and be prepared for these to pass on through behind it. It is slowing down a little bit. We should get a break from all this activity as we do head into the evening hours with the severe thunderstorm watch in place till about 7 p.m. Here in the valley, we have the rain moving up towards the north and we have the showers there through the coast range, but that heavy rain that brought in about a quarter of an inch so far here in Portland is slowed down as we've headed into the evening hours. Again, I want to show you the satellite because you can see these cells really boil up there and those clouds really start to make way, uh, pushing 30,000 feet plus. Uh, so these are some very strong cells and then we just have this force over the top of us with the cloud coverage. Notice that these clouds a little bit lower in the atmosphere are actually cycling down underneath these clouds as this system does kind of rise to the north. So a lot of things going on this evening and of course uh, we have updates. You can find me on social media and on the website. All right, so we have the severe thunderstorm watch in place again until 7 p.m. But these counties to the south are starting to see things slowing down. The majority of that action is going to be to the north of us. The watch means we have the ingredients in place. The warning means it's happening now. So that's why when we take a look at the warnings there on the radar, uh, those are very important to just start uh, taking some uh, a caution to. All right, wind gusts today, some max wind gusts at some of these sites at 40s and 50 miles per hour. We've had some 20s here in the valley as well. Rain tolls, as I mentioned, about a quarter of an inch here in Portland. Over an inch and a quarter almost for Medford. You can see Pendleton about two tenths of an inch and Bend about uh, half an inch there. And you can see our current conditions right now, a little cloudy and a little wet. And again, we'll have more updates as we go through the show. I'll keep you uh, covered. 72 degrees for Monday. We have the upper 70s there on Tuesday, Wednesday, 74. Wayne, we have a nice dry stretch. Tomorrow doesn't look too wet. Uh, I'll have some more updates, though, about these thunderstorms. And we'll share some more photos, too, as well, coming up. Yeah, a lot going on. Okay, thank you so much.